all of these girls were at one time or another held by Rico at the hotel and allegedly sold as prostitutes to other people. In the case of young Sandra, she was 13 years old and looking for pregnancy care. She was walking downtown, Rico pulled up in his car and offered her a ride. And I think from that day forward, I don't think she ever left. Um, the people that lived in the hotel were often mental patients or formal mental patients who all had prescriptions for various drugs, mostly Thorazine, and Rico would buy the Thorazine from them and then sell the girls to these mental patients as prostitutes. So these were girls from the age 13 to 17 who were mostly pregnant and held by Rico in the hotel. Yeah. And they're gone. We don't know where they are. We have no trace of them. I have thought from the very beginning that there were other victims, the, uh, other murder victims that died at the hand of Rico Cruz. It's not impossible that they're still in the basement of that hotel. Um, I think that a backhoe would have helped, but I don't know how you get a backhoe into the basement without destroying a wall. This was a 5,000 square foot basement of the former San Diego Hospital. Um, and it was just loaded. It was like a swap meet that had died and no one had been in there for a generation. There's another location either directly next door or one house uh, north of that that was referred to by many people as the greenhouse. And the lady that owned that house named Ruby uh, complained that Rico had been under her house. She couldn't sleep at night, she reported, because she had seen Rico under the house. I don't think anybody really believed her. But we do have first names, we have ages, and now we have DNA, and we have um, Ancestry.com, where they can track DNA, I think. So a lot has happened since 1980, when these girls started showing up at the hotel. Somebody must be a family that's mourning the loss of these people. Somebody must. I have never forgotten this case. I remember a lot of the facts of this case, and I think it's important that we remember that there are some girls out there who've been essentially forgotten.